Hey, what's up, everybody? Mike right. McSee, Joey B on a dry, yes. semi-dry. For a change, right? For a change. That was yeah. wild, that storm, wasn't it? Ooh. Man, I'm telling you. I mean, it rained forever. It, just, it rained every day that week. It sure did. We got like sure a did. deluge of we rain. We actually canceled games because of rain. Yeah, well, we're going to get into we're that later do that. on. But uh, anyway, uh, yeah. the schedule was just pushed back a week. Right. So the that's games all, that were all. played this Sunday were the games that were scheduled for that yep. uh, for that Sunday. And a couple of surprises. Couple. You couple know, surprises. We're getting we're getting into yes, an sir. area now where uh, teams are starting to position themselves. For uh, their playoff positioning. Yeah, we're past that halfway mark. Yeah, and there's a couple of teams that are in a free fall now. Yeah. We're going to get into that. A couple teams on the rise. Yeah. And, and we got a guest today. We do have a guest. Yes, we do. And Finally. you know what? It's from the division that we don't talk about enough. I think we talk about well, it. Well, you know what? We're going to give uh, our guest today is Ethan from the, uh, from the Legion. Legion. Uh, what are they? They were the Legion of Doom, the Legion of Gloom, Gloom. not a Legion of Boom. Yeah, because man. They're they winning like games. Two games are 50 uh, first points. First two or games, like that? and now they've won three in a row. And actually, they're What's putting that? themselves in a position to. They uh, sure are. To come into the playoffs and make a little bit of you a know, run. Especially I had to, with. That was one of our. We're going to talk about. A team goes down. Uh, old school already has a loss. Luigi, so though, this, Luigi, that old bastard. Yeah, that, he keeps, they are, they're very crafty, but we'll get to that when we talk about we will, the touch. And we'll we will. We will. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going we're gonna to go to a commercial break right now, and then we're going to come back and we're going to have Ethan on with us. We're going to do the touch division first, get his views uh, on touch, his team, and, and uh, the way he feels overall about the about league. The so league, we're going to yeah. get a player's input. Which, uh, which I think is a good thing. So Finally. We're going to be right. we got a new one, a new sponsor. Yeah. You need tires now. we got that covered. Johnny. So that's it. we got pizza. we got hair cutters. we got tires. we got golf. we got golf. we got Masons. Well, what are we left with? What uh, is there to do? I don't know. Any whores out there want to advertise with us, let us know. Mike's in charge of the prostitution line. All right. We'll be back. We'll be back in a minute. How you doing, people? Welcome to Raymond's Tires. My name is John. Just want to let you guys know we're open seven days a week. We've been in business for over 15 years. Our, our hours are from 8 to 7 every day. The only day we close is Christmas Day. Flat fixes start at $10. Balancing, $10. Used tires, $25 and up. New tires, if you purchase all four, you get everything included. Mounted, balance, wheel alignment, everything. Customer service is our number one priority. If you come to our place and you don't have what it takes to get done, we will give you the service at no charge because customer service, again, is our number one priority. Thank you for stopping by. And as promised, Ethan yeah. from the – now, what, what are you calling yourselves this week? I think this week we're, we're sticking to Legion of Doom. Still <laughs> Legion of Doom. Uh, coming off their third straight win. Third straight win. Looking good. And, Watch out. Uh, yeah. So what we're going to do, Ethan, we're going to take advantage of the fact that you're here. and We're going we're gonna to review your game uh, okay. that you play. But we're going to talk about – the rest of the uh, the rest of the touch division and uh, get your input on who you think might be the team to beat. So let's start with uh, the uh, first game, which was the Bucks and the Wolfpack. Bucks remain undefeated uh, as they take care of the Wolfpack, 32 to 12. Uh, looks like a one looked like a one-sided game. Yeah. Now, yeah. Ethan, you did you play the Bucks or the Wolfpack yet? We did not the Wolfpack. We played the Bucks. Or, uh, they were, I believe, it was a, it was. First or second week we played the Bucks. Um, okay, so that's when you were the Legion of Gloom. Yeah, that's when we were the Legion of Gloom. Yeah, we yeah. weren't playing as good. Yeah, so uh, that's when our, our first two losses were the first two weeks. Um, you know, some guys start. We were able to, you know, get some guys come back um, that weren't able to make it. So, you know, we're starting to play a little better. But, uh, I mean, our team set up like that where we never had a, 
a huge roster. We well, have, you know, the players that we we need, we're comfortable with. Uh -huh. So unfortunately, when we do miss one or two guys, you know, it shows up on the league. So, so let me ask you about that game, okay. Mike. I'm going to jump in with a quick one, and then you can rebound. You got it, man. My missed jump you got, shot. You got it. So was it the, that the Bucks were that tough, or you guys just really weren't ready to play yet? Um, they're definitely a good team. I mean, absolutely, they're definitely a good team. But I think, you know, anyone in this league, I think we can beat on the right day. I think we compete with anyone. So, um, I mean, it'd be unfair to say to the Bucks that, you know, we lost because we didn't have all our people. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, you know, I'm a realist. I know that we didn't, you know, we didn't field our, our best, uh, you know, team and effort, I guess, that day. Well, Bucks are also 4-0. So, yeah. I mean, it's They're not, not like 5-0 now, right? 5-0, sorry. 5-0 now, yeah. No, no, no. But, you know, so that's, uh, yeah, they... That's a good team, but again, these guys, it looks like it was an off week for you. You only put up 21 points this week. I mean, the last few weeks, yeah. it was like a 50 spot, a 35 spot. So you guys have definitely got your offense yeah, clicking, I think which is real good. I, I mean, the, the Wolves, I, I believe they're 0-4. They're they haven't won a game yet, but um, they're not a bad team. They have athletes on their team. You know, the yeah. quarterback can throw the ball. They have some receivers and stuff. So uh, yeah, I yeah, had, I had the pleasure of doing that game, and okay. I'll tell you what, and, and Ethan will tell you, that's the Caucus Field. Now those cliffs, or mountains, or whatever right. you want to call them, they just turned that field into a wind tunnel. Yep. Yeah, it oh, really yeah. was a wind tunnel. And you know, it was funny. Every quarterback that had the wind in his back was overthrowing his <laughs> yeah. receivers yeah. by like 30 yards. Uh, it was not not great playing conditions. No, no, it wasn't. I mean, uh, you know, you always got to adjust uh, to to the field. Um, you know, maybe if it, if we're going against the wind, keep it short. You know, when the we like to uh, you know have a little excitement in our game, so. We do like to go deep. I mean, I think every team likes to go deep, but uh, you know, you got to play to your strategy, though, and you know, adjust to the weather or whatever. You know, weather. We've had a lot of rain too, so a couple of those rain games. You know, it's not easy catching the ball in the rain. So, mm. field yeah. was in good condition, though, wasn't it? No, it field wasn't was that okay. bad. No, it wasn't, it wasn't that, that bad. bad. Blown yeah. dry. Yeah. 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 And, the, and now the other performance that I thought was. Vell played very well uh, defensively, uh -huh. and he, he, he's, he's 45 years old. Yeah, man. Oh, that's a, that's I our. I can't believe that. Yeah, Vell's found the found the fountain of youth. He hasn't told any of us yet. Tell but, me uh, what street corner he's buying it on. Yeah, I'd like yeah, to go exactly. get some myself. <laughs> Bell. Oh, yeah, he's Come on, buddy. And you lost more than five pounds. So don't give me that five pound baloney. You lost more than five pounds. And the other guy we were talking about off camera, the receiver. Um, Antoine. Yeah. Antoine. That is guy. Well, oh, man, I tell you, if he found the job where he gets paid by the word, he'd make a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice kid, nice yeah. guy. Fast as hell. Okay. Very fast, got good hands. So, okay. uh, the Doom's That's got a good some combination. Players. The Doom's I got love some his, players. He's got the energy, too, out there. Um, you know, the way he. Uh, He's very vocal, very loud, and um, you know it's almost this type of, you know, comedy cockiness to it. But it's just, you know, especially me, I feed off of that, and I love that. I love playing with guys like that. You know that their love for the game is so strong, and they, you know they're just out there having fun and ball. And well, I got an interesting question for Ethan. What do you do on the team? I'm opposition. Well, I, I saw you playing defense, yeah. right? Uh, mostly defense. A, a I'm a rece offense. Yeah, receiver and corner. Um, right. Honestly, uh, you know, I really, I, I kind of play all over. For the most part, it's really been receiver, cornerback, a uh, little safety. But um, you know, I'll, you know, I'll go anywhere. I'll, I'll go anywhere to help this team. You know, I kind of like to think of. You know, my skill set is really being able to play, you know, especially in these leagues, the touch league, um, you know, playing on the line, it's generally not, you know, huge, these, you know, big, strong guys. So Definitely speed. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, if you can speed. use your speed, you know, you have the right game plan, uh, yeah, I feel like I could play anywhere, but mainly receiver and D-back, yep. And you, like you said earlier, you don't have that deep a roster, so your guys are getting a lot of time. Exactly. Well. Yeah, we got to make sure, you know, that's one thing we require when we bring guys in. You got to make sure, you know, we always ask them. You go to the gym, you run on the treadmill, but uh, no, I'm I just could never uh, play for this yeah, team. Yeah, no, right? I'm, just, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. just joking. Yeah, I, would, yeah. I would run the pizza concession <laughs> in practice. Right. Yeah, if we said that, we'd have <laughs> maybe two running. We'd have two guys and not nine guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we're, we're going to find out, too. There's a lot of other teams that have thin rosters. And right now, the weather's been cool. Cool. As of, but when we get into mid-June, right. because this season now, we're going to have uh, – I don't know what's going on with Memorial Day, but i got to believe that – there's a good chance uh, yeah. we won't We're be not playing. playing. 
Playoffs are going to run into July 4th weekend. Yeah. So it looks like we're going to go beyond July 4th. I, I don't know. I, I really right. don't know what's going to happen. Not all out. But uh, I'm sure that we're going to get into warmer weather sooner yeah. or later. Yeah. It seems like this phase is going to have a little bit of everything as yeah. far as weather and, and i got to believe that the teams with thin rosters, when you're in a playoff situation, and you, you know, yeah. it's winter go home, and you guys are sweating bullets or panting like yeah. a, yep. a dog have, in the yeah. heat, Midway through the second half, the legs are going to say, "I quit." Now step it up, you know. But let, let's so, yeah, let's move on here. But until the weather gets warm, we don't know. So stick around, Ethan. Let's talk about some of the other teams. Uh, the militia, thirty-three over the replacements, and, and Mike and I have come to a yeah. point where we say there's really not much to say. Yeah. Now the replacements, we said peaked in week two. Uh, when they got the win, we jumped on the replacement. Actually, he dragged me on the replacement bandwagon. <laughs> I got you there. And uh, they haven't done anything. Yeah, have you played the replacements yet? Yeah, we played. Um, yeah, we played the replacements. We beat them. That um, was that your first win in the string of three, or I believe that was. Yes, I believe that was. And uh, so, who have you beaten? You beat the replacements. We've lost. I know we've lost to the old school. We lost to the Bucks. We have not played. Um, who haven't we played yet, actually? Well, uh, well, 18, 18, I think we yeah. still have to play. Yeah. Right. And then, um, uh, militia. Militia, we still have to Ooh. play. Yeah. Nice team. Surprisingly, yep. they're at three. They're at three and two. Yeah, now. I'm looking to actually, you know, play one of these teams oh, the towards the top of the yeah. divisions because uh, get you know, a gauge like on yourself. Exactly. You know, yeah. we lost the, the first two weeks. We played two tougher teams. Um, you know, we really, obviously, you can't take anything away from them. But you know, we feel like we didn't field our best team yeah. those days. So yeah, we're excited about you know the future. And uh, the, la the last game uh, on the touch uh, schedule la last week was old school against the A-team. And we had that game down as one of the better games of the week. And I think yeah. we both picked the A-team, Mike. I think we did, too. Yeah. I believe we I mean, did. It's, two, I it's actually two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. I think the A-team's been, you know, they were really riding high. They were playing great. Yeah. You know, well. not giving up many points, especially in the touch division where if you can have, again, we come back to the defense, if you can not give up all those points, you know, and you have a, oh, a good defense. 25 points. Right. And those are but lines. that's what they've been doing. Points. And this was a weird surprise. Like, I'm not surprised that the old school beat them, but I am. You know what I mean? Well, you know what like, I'm not surprised that the old school won. But I'm surprised that the A team lost. Now, when you played the old school, <laughs> when you played the old school, yeah. we, we call Luigi a miracle of modern science. Yeah. This guy has pulled every muscle. This guy has, <laughs> he's had bad I knees. I muscle just standing next to him. I, I'm telling you, and the guy keeps coming back. He lost a lot of weight. He looks better now than he did five years <laughs> ago. And and th did he have a, a particularly big game against you guys uh, when you went up? I actually him? believe the first week he didn't. I don't know if he played. Actually, they had another kid play in um, quarterback that um, I mean. uh, that game. But I, I have played against Luigi before, and um, yeah, he's a very good, good quarterback. I mean, he, he really is. And when you kind of come into the game, I think you also underrate his athleticism a little bit. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, well yeah. yeah. He can around. move. He moves. And, well, uh, he also puts on the big show and be oh before the game. Oh. <laughs> out so late and I'm puking and my back and my knee and my heart and the this and then it's and he, see, can he comes hit, everybody in. Some, he can hit a golf ball a long way. Oh can he? In every oh, direction. God. Yeah see I, every I, I, I stay away from the golf course. Yeah, yeah that's right. my no, 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 so no, one no, sport no. um yeah. yeah. So uh, all right so here we are. Uh, that's the end of last week's schedule. Where do you think you guys are in terms of competitiveness with the other teams? Do you feel like you can beat the top teams. The uh, where, where do you feel your team is at right now? You won three in a row. Obviously, you got it going. Now you've got people want to come down yeah. because you're three and two now, and, and you know you look like you're going in the right sight, direction. Yeah. Where is your team, in your opinion, right now? Um, I still think we're um, we're on the way up. Um, I think we, we we definitely can absolutely beat or compete with anyone any day um, in this league. Um, we have plenty of athletes, you know, a lot of the guys are, you know, very well. We understand football. We're a very close-knit team. It's just more about execution, um, you know, building that chemistry together. You know, the thing that I've noticed in a lot of these leagues, especially when you're fairly new to a league or your team, you know, you bring in a couple new guys. If you bring in, you know, a bunch of athletes, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win every game. Well, you know, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot that goes into it. We've lost to teams where we felt like, you know, we had no business losing to before. 
But as far as competing or beating any team, I feel like, you know, if we're on our game, there's no reason why we shouldn't, you know, be able to win a championship. Good attitude. That's yeah. a good attitude to have, a good outlook on the team. So we're going to take another commercial break. And we, we left out one thing, Mike. We also have the stakes now, too, right? Oh, we do. So we're going to take a ride out to Steve Sizzling. Ethan, thanks very much. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Good to be here. Well. And uh, giving us your go LOD. opinion. That's right. Lead you to do. Touch. Yeah. We don't, the schedule's not out yet, so we don't it's know. Not out. You might be playing one of those big boys this I week. I hope so. I hope so. Up now, man. Set it up right now. So, again, we'll be right back, Ethan. Thanks again, buddy. Thank you, guys. As restaurants come and go, it is rare to find an establishment like Steve's Sizzling Steaks. Steve's has focused on excellent food, comfortable ambiance, and a friendly staff. Times sure have changed since Steve's first opened their doors, but what hasn't changed is the family atmosphere that makes Steve's so special. Open seven days a week, Sunday through Thursday, 11.30 a.m. to 10 p.m., and Friday and Saturday, 11.30 a.m. to 11 p.m. Located at 620 Route 17 South in Carlstad, New Jersey, or call 201-438-9677 for your reservation. Hey, hey, and we're back, yeah, and that was really, he's a nice guy, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you very much, Ethan, for coming on, you know. Again, guys, come down. We want to hear your yeah, opinion. He gave this us, is your league. It really you is. You know, talk really about is. it. Talk about your teams. Hype up your team. And I thought he was politically cool. correct with all his responses. Yeah. I'm guy. sure he wanted to say, this guy sucks, and this oh, team yeah. sucks, but he didn't do it. So let's get we'll right leave that down. Up to you. Yeah, leave that up to me. Yeah. Mr. Wonderful. All right, here we go. Eight on eight, and let's start Warriors. Yes. 37, Hawkeyes 20, and the Hawkeyes continue their free fall. I don't know if this was as much the Hawkeyes free falling. This Warriors team looks fantastic. Look good. They look, good. look fantastic. They have a running game and a quarterback. Not a quarterback who's your running game like they've had in the past. I've said to them before in the last couple seasons, they need to get some sort of running running game. Have not. You don't have to feature it, but just have something. They had a guy run, what, 80 yards for a touchdown? Change of, change so, of pace kind of. You know of, what I mean? Yeah. But this guy took it to the house, right up the middle. They got a good running game. You know, some of the old old faces are there, some new faces, new quarterback. This team looks good. They, and you they know what? Really I, I, don't, I couldn't find Shono on the tape. I, I wonder Maybe if he was that, there. No, I'm just kidding. But, no, they look great, man. Th this Warrior team. Three and one, you know. Four and one now. Four and one. Sorry, I'm still looking at the old. Four and one. Yeah, we're old a little, sets. we're a little uh, out of sorts That's because right. of the cancellation. But yeah, the Warriors and the Hawkeyes. I mean, this was a good game back and forth, you know, until the point. Let's spend a second on the Hawkeyes here. Again, okay. we, we predicted this free fall two weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, personnel issues. Now their big lineman uh, is hurt. He's out for three weeks with an abdominal Ooh. situation, so he's not going to be back. But now for another two weeks at least, um, maybe in time for the tournament. But how how effective you're going to be coming off a of surgery? Mm. You know, you're not going to step onto the field and, and yeah. Yeah. be your old self. So Hawkeyes uh, may be in for a bit of a long run uh, yeah. or continued slide Here down. We Here we go. Uh, sec our game of the week, uh, the Goons and the Bulldogs. We called this the 8-on-8 the, uh, eight eight game of the week. Yes, we did. And I convinced you into taking the Goons. You did convince me into taking the Goons. And, yes, you and, did. And I must have convinced the Goons to win the game yeah. because they did. And this game, I, had, I was lucky enough to do this game. Okay. Figured to be a little chippy. It was a little chippy at the start. Okay. But when the team settled down, calmed down and played football, this turned into well, a great game. At a 28-24 game, that's a competitive game. There's not enough time to start getting chippy. Well, you know, and that's usually team's downfall. And I just want to uh, address something from the board. Yes, I realize we said that the Bulldogs were the best team in the in the eight on eight, and we picked the Goons. I think we were right. You can still be the best statistic team, right? And lose a game. And still lose a game if you look back at who they were playing. I'm not bringing that up, but I just wanted to bring that up. Well, oh, yeah. and, and Hong Kong, there's my my. And, and, that, and that's a, and that's a good point too, because I mean I, I echoed the phrase on any given Sunday. Right. The Bulldogs were coming off three or four wins against teams that they were supposed to beat. Right, exactly. Okay. Now and they, you even said it. You know, you didn't think that they faced a team like the Goons. Yet, no. And that's why we went no. with the Goons. 
Goons won. Hey, man. And the close goons, game, though. And, and Very the, close and the game. Goons, and the Goons came down with 10 guys. Whoa. Okay. Which, Afternoon and, game. And the huh? coach was worried with the 10. Really? But, uh, and this was my okay. first look at them this year. Okay. Speed, strength, uh, and a quarterback by the name of Matty Ice. Yeah. Formerly of the, of the Warriors. Warriors, who had a 60-yard run for a touchdown yeah. in this game. But... This game does not change my opinion of the Bulldogs. No, not at I all. I still think they're a top team. They had the ball uh, on the last drive of the game going into the 35-mile-an-hour okay. win. <laughs> yeah. So forget Randy throwing a ball deep wasn't going to happen. Okay. Um, it, it, ended, it ended on an interception with the clock running out. So uh, these two teams are going to face each other again. Right. This 8-on-8 this eight eight is looking line. good. You yeah. know, we, we talked about the same thing, Kodiak's Warriors two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. You know, those two undefeated or, you know, maybe one-loss teams going at it. So and, now, and, and now yeah. we got, again, Goons, Bulldogs. So, so the Goons, so this great eight game eight. by the Goons. Uh, again, guys, uh, except for a couple of instances, you kept your heads, and I've always said, that the team that keeps their, their heads usually yes. wins the game. Yeah. And credit the Bulldogs, too, because it could have gotten a little out of hand. Well, good. I'm glad. And the Bulldogs controlled themselves. Good. And uh, everything went well. So, uh, Coons, congratulations on the win. Bulldogs, great fight. And I'm sure that you guys will get better off this game. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm sure they'll see them in a couple weeks. Yeah, probably. Weeks. Kodiaks, right. bankers, Kodiaks remain unbeaten. Unbeaten. They and are now, atop the 8-on-8 uh, eight eight right now. And right now, I believe they are the only unbeaten team in I the 8-on-8 eight eight right now. You are correct. And the bankers, another close game. Another close game. And they don't win. And Yeah, and they... <sighs> they put up 30 points and lost. Yeah. Hey. I, Jerry, Jerry must have his offense clicking, but his defense. But uh, we know that the bankers have some weapons on offense. We know they do. It's that last couple minutes. I would, it, uh, I would love to have seen a tape of this game yeah. and see how the bankers got beat. But I'm sure when they see this, when they yeah. see this, they'll let us know. I'm sure they will. They'll let us CFL know. Films at gmail.com. <laughs> NWO. Yes. 13, Junior Mafia 12, two teams Junior that are Mafia. offensively challenged. Yeah, Both teams are offensively challenged. Yeah. And it, it, it was a missed extra point somewhere. Yeah. It has to be that uh, Junior Mafia missed both their extra points. Right. And WAO made one out of two, and there was a difference yeah. in the game. Um, yeah, and I, I mean, not much to say here. 13 12 game. Seems like the Mafia scores only 12 points every week. Yeah, I mean, right? they, they put up another 12, 12 points. They put up yeah. 12. So, yeah, yeah, they're, well, yeah, something like that. What are they up to? About 44 points. We go off of that. Uh, they just, For the year, that's uh, 10 points a game. But you know, it's funny because the, we, we're having some fun with the Junior Mafia, right. and they're three extra points away from having Pretty much, yeah. uh, two from or having, three more wins. Yeah, you know? yeah well, that's, So, that's uh, cool. you know, offense, boys, you got to have some. NWO yep. just barely had enough. Just squeaked it by. Uh, so uh, we, the beat goes on. NWO now is at an even three and three. Yeah. So teams are starting to, to juggle their records. Deja Vu now is two and three. Two and three with the Wolf Gang getting and, another. And win? now the Wolf Gang is now up to three wins. Yeah. They've won three in a row. They uh, took care of Deja Vu, and I I think, and we said it, even when they had gotten beat the first two weeks. Right. I said, this Wolfgang team is going to get it together during the season. They have a small army. They do. This is, we've been saying it all along. And you know, you're, this team is going to be good. This team is going to, and they are. may not be this year. It may not be this year. They may get bounced in the first round. But what they're building on, I'm liking it. So if they can keep this going, come back in the fall, I'm not saying that their season's over. That's not what I'm no. saying. You and know and I'm going to tell you something else about the Wolfgang. You're not going to out-tough them. No. You're not going to out-tough them. No. You may be it. Now, offensively, from what I've seen, you have to they're not, them. Well, they're not the most finesse offense. Right. Okay, their quarterback reminds me of Joe Morris of the Giants. So he's built just like Joe Morris yes. of the Giants. Yes. And the guy, and he's fast, and he's he can so throw fast. the ball. Yeah. So, he's you a know. He's more accuracy, and he would be uh, dynamite. They like to take it to you. You know how you say it like a team on defense right. will take it to an offense and bang them? Right. They do that on offense. Yeah. They take it to the defense. Yes, they do. So, you know, uh, they don't have to finesse them if they keep bowling the defense yeah. is over. Yeah, so. man. But anyway, congratulations. You guys are now 3-2 and two and yeah. definitely looking to be on the way up. And that brings us now, Mike, to 6-on-6. Uh, six six. 
Yep. And, you know, between eight and eight and six on six, I think those are the, the most two divisions talked about. Yeah. In this league. Yeah. You know, the six on six continues to grow. Continues to grow. And, Great uh, competition in it. And and the eight on eight. And, uh, man, extremely some, competitive, yeah. Yeah, we got some teams now that, you know, there's a little bit of a turnover, you know, some old rivalries renewed. And so let, let's get stuff. started right away. Cobras, 30, All-Stars, 28. Very surprising. Not really. Yes, it is. Not really. Because we yes, know that, okay. We knew that the Cobras were going to score points. Right. Okay. We know the Cobras are going to score points. We know the All-Stars are going to score points. We know that defensively in this six-on-six -six division, the All-Stars are one of the teams that have some kind of defensive scheme. Yes. Okay. It's not you pick up that guy. You right, right. They have some kind of defensive scheme. So somehow the Cobras were able to outjuice them by two. And I got to believe again, this involved extra points. Extra points? Going eh. for two. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, I know Ugh. that if Titano had the ball at 30-28 or 30-20, whatever it was, he might have been the one that went for two and didn't get of it. Of course he would. You, you know, but he's got, because he's got nothing, he rolls the dice. Right. During the regular season. Um, I don't call him the cerebral assassin for nothing. He knows, he knows. that this game really isn't going to affect the seedings that dramatically. Right. Right. So I'm going to take a shot and go for two. Uh. But, again, uh, we hadn't talked too much about the Cobras, so they pop up with a big win against big the win, yeah. Still a big win. A lot of talk the about them. Still the the, a lot of talk about them on the board. People are, are really putting them in that top, you know, four or five. You know, it was one of the top uh, teams, and, and they're showing it. They're, they are coming on. Um, this was a big win. This is a big win. It's a good you know? win. It's a good win against the All Stars. Yeah. 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 And then uh, what we thought was going to be. Well, yeah, really, Cobras All-Stars could have been the six-on-six -six game of the week. Yeah, I think this Yambi's uh, Blazers game probably would have been. I, I would have leaned more towards that. Yambi's undefeated, you know, quietly undefeated, just kind of rolling uh, along, doing their thing. And 28-27, uh, and I had the pleasure of doing that game, mm. and it was a miss, missed extra okay. point. Uh, that course, this came from being a tie. But the Yambi's, uh, offensively, uh, Red started for them at quarterback. Okay. At halftime, they made a switch to Oscar. Changed the game. Boom. But Oscar had the wind at his back in the second half. 35 mile an hour wind. Yeah. And uh, Red didn't. So we're going to throw Red a little bit of a pass uh -huh. on that. Uh, and Robbie Lane was, you know, he loves the deep ball. He does. And in the first half, he had the 35 mile an hour wind at his back. In order to hit his receivers, he had to drop back 25 yeah, yards yeah. because he was overthrowing his receivers. That yeah. wind, it was like it ball got up into the wind and it just kept going. Kept going, it kept yeah. going. And the kickoffs, Oscar was kicking the ball off and almost, now you know the way the field's laid out for eight and eight right, up there, right. was almost hitting the running track. That's crazy. Which is insane. That so is insane. the Blazers in the second half, every drive after a uh, score by the Yambis, Started at the 15-yard line. Yeah. There was no chance for Barry to run anything back. Right. Yeah. Well, hey, that's that's smart on their part. Then you know, use it. Don't let that guy. I wouldn't let Barry. I wouldn't want Barry running that ball back either. I'd be kicking it as far as I can. Well, I mean, he's standing there watching it sail 30 yards past the end zone, so there was no worry about yeah. that with well, that good. wind. But again, you but know, a one-point yeah. one-point game. Again, same way I felt about the other uh, eight-on-eight -eight game. It doesn't really affect. The stature of either team. No, I mean it gives the Yambis are still undefeated. The Yambis are undefeated. They are still undefeated. Uh, that's the sec that's the second loss though for the Blazers also. Two very close losses. Two losses, the, yeah. the Bruins and the Yambis now. I mean, so that is that could affect them a little bit. Well a little bit. Seating wise they might be playing a tougher team than they right. but you know what? Who's not tough in this? True. In this division. And speaking mm -hmm. of tough, here we go to Bruins. Who quietly 52 to 12 over yeah. the nice snatch. You're not hearing AJ, not a word. Man, he uh -uh. doesn't usually talk too much. He doesn't so they talk had that too much. one hiccup first game. AJ is a responder. AJ will respond if you talk yes. to him. Yes. He will not initiate but yeah, he any conversation. He goes out on the field. We all know. But, uh, you know, Kornacki uh, was there. I saw that playing on the other field. Kornacki put on a few pounds. Uh, but Dauber uh, still running around on all defense. Right. Uh, they They got. Like 15 guys, hey, that's 14 great. and 15 guys on the man all day, still catching passes. All day uh, long. He had his game face on too. He looked yeah, like I see that. It's 52 points. Somebody had their game face on. Yeah, more yeah. than one person had their game face. And on. Uh, really, uh, they just keep rolling along, and yeah. everyone, no one's talking about the Bruins again. Until and, that, and that's 
kind of. I'm not, yeah. You know what it is? Because after that first week, they've been basically taking care of business. They've been crushing people without much of a problem. Yeah. And uh, right. I don't see the, what the Bruins do. I don't see the, the trend changing. No. Here, and here is what has to be not the upset of the week, not the upset of the season, the upset of the century. Code Red. Yeah. Over Team Team. Code Red had given up. 6,252 like points. That. Yeah, it seemed Something like, it. like that. And Team Team, who had been now, I, I, Jesse, and we all know who Jesse right. is, right? Now, I, I found out that mm. Jesse blew out his Achilles. Mm. Wasn't at the game. I don't think his brother was at the game. He had a neck injury. So oh, I don't geez. know what Please. Team Team's uh, personnel status was right. for that game. But still, can't take anything away from Code Red. No. They came down for the first four weeks of the season and got beat. But they hung in they there. Hung in there. Here we they go. They kept showing up. They kept playing. This and they was a shock to me. This re- was a big, oh, shock. big shock. You know, you know team, now, team, we've been talking about how good we think this team is. And you how know, they haven't gotten a break schedule-wise. And how wise. they haven't. And now how they haven't. And here we go. I mean, I'm going to have to, you know. Well, now let's see where Code Red goes from this game. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's see what happens. Well, the schedule's not out yet because we're taping Tuesday. We're taping tonight. early, yeah. We're taping on, on a Tuesday, Tuesday yeah. Uh, but let's see what happens. Lightning, 48. Hawks, 33. A tainted score. A tainted score. The Hawks only had five guys on the team. Uh, hey. But they still put up 33 points against the Lightning with yeah, five guys. That's So, I mean, I'm not looking at the Lightning score in 48. Lightning right uh, that's what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, defensively. That's right. I mean, so I'm not, I'm not going to. Feel great about the Lightning scoring yeah. 48. They always do. They always do. Yeah, that's usually their. their but uh, uh, I don't know. Hey Hawks, way to go! Guys. Put up 33 points with only five guys. And they, I know that they, they some some guys were sick or something or couldn't come down or whatever. But uh, Hawks with a full team, I think that would have been a closer game. Probably. Yeah. I mean, it was semi-close with just five guys. Yeah. You know and what I mean? uh, the last game now, unfortunately, light them up. Yep, light them up, had, uh, to, had to pack hang them up. up. Light them up, pack it up, uh, yeah. whatever you I want got to a, I got a note from them. They said that it, they're just, the commitment wasn't there. People weren't paying their share. They weren't, you know, so, and they just broke it off, you know. I mean, so. Well, I, I still and there's some guys out there. The Bennett Brothers are looking, Bennett Brothers man, looking for a team. They're looking for a team. They're all paid up. They're ready to go. And I still you know? think that Jazz uh, was part of the reason that the team broke up. <laughs> Yeah, maybe only, he may not be back I'm, next year, you know. I'm only kidding, Jazz. We'll I'm see. Only kidding. You're probably one of the uh, guys that did pay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, hey, think. anybody needs players? So the storm, but the storm now has two wins. Bam! That's it, man. Any any way to get Take them however you can, you right? You take them. You take them. Uh, yeah, so it's not to see the light them up go, but hopefully they'll be back. In some sort of, you know, well, I'd like to new see carnation. Maybe their, their you know? players show up on. Yeah, that, that's what they know? were saying. They said that they'll be back next next season. Yeah. Um, you know, again, it could be a new team, new name, whatever. But these guys will get back together and you know, fix that commitment issue. And hopefully, they'll, you know, we hope they're back. And by the way, I have an uncle that has a loan sharking business. So if you guys need the cash to get into the league, call my uncle Louie, and uh, yeah, he'll get you in. Uh, so let's go now to the nine on nine and. You know, for only two games, there was a lot of stuff that happened. Yeah. In, in two games. Let's start with... A lot of nothing the, happened. Yeah. The Diablos <laughs> forfeiting. What's going on? To the Diablo All-Stars. Land. Uh, I'll tell you, if you remember, and we talked about this, a couple of seasons back, the Diablos won a few championships, then their team went south. Yes. Dan rebuilt them. Yes. Got them back up to championship status. Yeah. They won a couple more chips. And now and it now looks like the team's going south again. It sure does. So it looks like a vicious cycle. Yeah, it's sad, uh, though, you know, especially because, hey, there's only five teams in this 9-on-9 nine nine right now. And to have one start really falling off, I don't know. Not good. Nice. And then the game that we all looked forward to, we thought was going to be a great game, although we both picked the Canes in this game. We did. I think. We did. We did. Uh, Canes over HOB, sixteen to nothing. However, there's a caveat here, an asterisk or whatever yeah. you want to call it. No Pete. No Pete. So could it have gone another little little different way? I mean, Canes only put up sixteen points. They looked good. It was a good game defensively. HOB looked great. You know, Canes had a couple big plays. 
Canes look like the Canes, though, out there. I mean, the that, Canes, was, that was normal. The Canes have turned into the type of team that does just what they have to do to win. Yeah. They don't look to run up scores. They don't look to get crazy. Yeah. Well, let's control the ball on the ground. Let's yeah, eat You know, clock. you're right. We have the lead. They're playing like a team that knows what they have to do to win. Right. And don't try to do anything more than they have to do to win. Yeah, you're right. You know and, what? You're and, absolutely and right. I mean, and that's the way this team has evolved. Uh, you know, Wally maybe has altered his game a little bit. A little bit. Earl, uh, I, I hate to say that Earl's slowing down a little, but I don't know, man. He still uh, was running you, you over know, people. He's in that still game. running people he's over, but out there. I mean, this this but team he's is not asked to do as much. They have, they still have great wide receivers great on the team. Great wide receivers. So, they have great wide receivers. You know, Oof. everybody contributes, and no, the burden doesn't fall on any one guy. Yeah, this is a true team. So this is you the know way what I mean? they this run. This is a true. Definition of a team, you know, they're committed. They they show up. They're there for each other. They play the game to win. I mean, they, of course, everybody plays the game to win. Hello. And there's but, no uh, there's no hullabaloo when they pick up a new guy. They no. just make a guy fit into their system. That's right. No bravado. No That's nothing. Right. Here's what we expect you to do. Yeah. Go do it. This is a role playing. That's it. This is your role. That's it. No, not you're, superstar you're, role. You're in a show. I mean, I, I haven't seen. I, I didn't see the tape. I had pleasure. Did Plush do anything in that game? You know. One did, of the apostles? He was on defense, had a couple uh, good rush, blocked a couple, uh, knocked down a couple passes. You know, it was good, but it was mostly, you know, a lot of uh, passes to um, Dwayne Dates and deep down the down the sideline. Catches everything. He catches everything. Catches everything. It's got to be nice to have a receiver like that that can just climb way up and grab yeah. it. Well, you know, but and, yeah, and HOB Wally, though look Wally good. Going, HOB, not look. This is their a, defense. You know, this this is a blip. This is all. This is a blip for them. I, I now you can't say. I will not sit here and say that it wouldn't have been a closer game with Pete at at the helm. It might have been a closer game with Pete there. It might have. It might have been. been. But the way the Canes play defense. You know, I don't know if those pitches and stuff yeah. would have worked so much with the Canes. But, I mean, there's a big difference between Red and Pete as a quarterback working those pitches. True. You know what True. I mean? So, But Red was Red was thrown into a real tough situation. Yeah, I there. understand that. I mean, he's been a you quarterback know. in this league from different teams, from the the eight-on-eights to the all over. He's well, been around but, all But, you know, so. what the big – I don't want to say the knock on him was, but the biggest thing about Red was he was an in-between-the-20s type of quarterback. Yeah. He'll move a team from the 20 to the 20. Yeah. And then things get a little dicey, icy. Um, yeah, that happens. And against the Canes? Can't do can't that. Can't do that. They're can't great that. in the And they're great in the middle, though. So now the anyway. Canes are the only undefeated team. Yes, uh, they are for the last year. Uh, in this division. And it'll be interesting to see how the Diablos bounce back next week. Uh, interesting. This Dan the rest was, of this Dan nine was, nine. Dan was not there. And it seems like, you know, when a team has a coach and a coach doesn't rally the guys, there's nobody around to rally the guys. Yeah. The coach has got to do it. Dang, Canes have only given up 19 points. It's incredible. In five games. Incredible. Four incredible. Games. So on that note, Mike, we're going to say sayonara. sayonara. And uh, hopefully, uh, as you said, this might be up even sooner than later. Yeah, we'll get it up Welcome there. a new sponsor, John's uh, Raymond Tires. And yeah, Raymond in case Tires. you guys... Uh, are wondering who Raymond is. It's really uh, John from now the... What is uh, it, Bulldogs? He, no. bull, now it's the Bulldogs. Now it's the Bulldogs. It used he, to be the Patriots. No, it was Patriots Junior Mafia. He junior graduated mafia, yeah. from the Junior Mafia. To the seniors? That's right. Nice. That's well, an Italian guy that, was, that yeah, knew when, he's or, a, when he's to go. He's a pest on defense yeah. if, you're, oh. if you're on the offense. As a matter of fact, he, he got, the, he got a, a safety on a first play against that, uh, the That goal. guy's always... Every game I've ever seen him, he, he gets at least one safety. He is... You're and a good player, John. And John, if, guy, and if you go to Raymond Tires, as most of our sponsors do, uh, go to Raymond Tires, tell Yo. him you're with the league, and uh, he'll hook you up. And believe me, with and the his price, prices were good already. Oh, well, I stepped uh, right on your toes. There. That's okay. <laughs> well, you know what? Auto repairs and tires and all that yeah. stuff cost. You can get anything off. Yeah. You jump all over it. So, uh, welcome aboard, John. Uh, we finally got you on the yeah, air. Yeah, finally. Uh, but uh, you're going to be there for a long time. So <laughs> from Mike McSee and Joey B, have a great night. Who do you like tonight, Toronto or uh, Cleveland? Basketball. Got to go Cleveland. LeBron. Yeah. By at least 12. All right. Have a great week, guys.
Hey, Joey B here in Mark Perone's hairstyling salon in Morris Plains, New Jersey, and I guess, Mark, I, I have to interrupt you. I guess I caught you at a bad time. Joe. What makes you what you are? First of all, Joe, when you come in here, you're part of the family. We make you feel that comfortable. Whether you're a young kid, older gentleman, or one of my hair piece customers, we make you feel at home here at Mark Perone's. Now, well, we do men's hair replacement, custom hair replacement. Uh, we do uh, little kids are our favorite. We do some women haircuts, but uh, basically it's a men's, a men's barbershop. Back old school with new, with new flair. It's a nice atmosphere and you are all welcome from everywhere. Here's the guy, here's the man. Uh, he uh, owns the shop, cuts the hair, sweeps it out every once in a while too. Yeah. Joey B from Mark Perone's. Come on in and get yourself a nice do. Open Tuesday to Friday, 10 to 7 p.m. Saturday, 8.30 to 5 p.m. Sundays, 10 to 3 p.m. Closed on Mondays.